Hey guys, today I'll be showing you how to design emails using React and then send them for free using Resend. So React Email is a framework where you can design emails using React components and Tailwind. So before React Email, you'd have to design your email uh, using regular HTML. And then when you did that, it probably wouldn't look like how you thought it would um, when it arrived in your inbox. So React Email solves this by allowing you to use regular React components um, in your email and resend sends your React email to any email. So to get started, what you're gonna wanna do is open up a blank project and run npm install React email like this. This will install the library. And then to send the email, you'll need to install the resend SDK. So you'll do that by typing npm install resend. And before we go any further, resend is a great uh, email API that you can use for free. So the pricing tier is free up to 3,000 emails. So as long as you're not sending over 3,000 emails, resend will be free and it has a great developer experience. Um, rather than having to use SMTP to send emails or using another provider like SendGrid or something. So once you have everything installed, you can start creating emails simply by exporting a React component from a file. Um, and there are plenty of examples you can choose from. So for instance, I'm using the Stripe example, and you can find examples by going to demo.reactemail. So this is the Stripe example, but there are tons more you can choose from. For instance, this is Airbnb, Apple, Google Pay, Koala, Linear. So all these are designed using React, and you can even copy the source for these emails uh, straight from the website into your React component. So this is the Stripe uh, example. So as you see, it's just um, the React email components that are used to build the emails. And you can apply custom styles um, using regular CSS. So how you would style a regular React component using plain CSS is the same way you'd style these components. So in order to send them, I've created an API route in my next project called API slash test. And I have a git handler here. So to send an email, you'll import the resend client here. So you'll do import resend from resend and you'll create a new instance using new resend and you'll pass in your API key. And then you'll import your email template from wherever you have it. And in order to send it, you'll do await resend.emails.send. You'll put in a from, and resend has a bunch of different emails you can send from. So I'm using onboarding at resend.dev. Two can be an array of emails, so I'm just sending it to myself with a subject. And then to add the React email to the email, you'll type React, and then you'll call your React email like a regular function. So you won't call it like a React component where you have the brackets like this. You'll just call it like a regular function. So now every time you go to this endpoint, you will receive, or I will receive this email. So if we go to API slash test, it'll return the ID of the email. And now if I go to my email, I will see the email exactly how the example was. So if we go to the Stripe example, so this is the Stripe example, how it looks on the browser, and this is how it looks in your email. So they look the exact same. So using React email and resend, you can easily create emails using Rack and send them for free. So this is a great tool if you're just starting out or if, you have, or if you're seeing a lot of emails. They have a very generous pricing system. So I hope that helped you guys, and I'll see you guys next time.